What is up my snazzy fam? Hope you guys and gals are doing well and crushing life. Today's video is gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna take the Shelby out. We haven't taken it out in a while. We've been spending a lot of time with the Raptor. Obviously it needed some time and we gave it some time. You saw in the last video we got the white wheels plasti dipped. What do you guys think? Was that the right move? We'll see how long this lasts, if it's durable or not. We also got the Ford lettering up front, which I'm a big fan of that. It's a nice, subtle, pop like we talked about rice krispies a couple videos ago we added the light bar and we got the rock lights underneath at night it's just a lot of fun i may or may not have left them on inadvertently a few times but uh yeah also we may or may not have ran over oscars number two that's the risk of parking in the front yard i got out of the truck after parking i was like "Ooh, that doesn't smell right yeah so we're gonna leave her there for a while just because it looks good so i got this t-shirt as a gift for my wife the Rock wore this shirt in the movie Central Intelligence. I thought it was hilarious. Obviously, he looked a lot better in that movie, in that shirt, than what you're seeing right now, but I like it. It says, always be you, just be you. But before we get to the cold start of the Shelby, I wanna thank today's sponsor. Now, you guys already know today's sponsor. It is the Ridge Wallet. It's light, it's sleek, and it fits easily into your pocket. This baby can hold up to 12 cards, but I generally like to keep just three or four because I'm a big guy, but I like a small, sleek, wallet it also has over 30,000 five star reviews five star that's four five it's also super durable i just threw that onto the roof and she's fine baby you can test drive it free for 45 days if you're not fully satisfied send it back for a full refund so get 10 percent off with free worldwide shipping and returns by going to rich.com slash burlacker that's rich.com slash burlacker link in the description below Thanks again to the Ridge Wallet for sponsoring this video. <laughs> Woo. Never miss. Okay, now on to the meat and potatoes of today's video. Yeah, we're gonna go try to find someone to race. Someone to, you know, not race, race, but you know, race. Maybe there's a GT3 RS around. Word of advice, if you're ever looking for a Porsche, the place you should go look first is the car wash because they like to keep their babies clean. And what do we have? Oh, look at that. <laughs> I called it. We found a car wash and we found a Porsche randomly. I had no idea he was here. Meanwhile, my Shelby is a, is a disaster. But in his defense, it's a good looking Porsche. That thing is, um, that is nice. Well done, sir. Thank you for a locker. All right, so obviously it was staged. I was planning on meeting my buddy Ryan here with his 991.2. GT3 RS 2019 black with the lizard green accents. I'll link his Instagram below, obviously. So we were talking the other day and we said, hey, we've never actually like done polls or kind of raced each other. Let's see what's up. We obviously expect that I'm gonna win because I just, it's a Shelby, it's a Mustang. I'm gonna take him out. I'm gonna cross to the finish line first. All right, now I know when you race, it's important to be light. You don't want to add weight, but I, I'm hungry. I can't focus if I don't have food, so. Wendy's is gonna propel me to victory. I just know it. Hi, welcome to Wendy's. What can I get for today? Yeah, can I do the four for four with the junior bacon cheeseburger? All right, that'll be 493. Second window, please. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you, you too. So he washed his car today, but I'm at least gonna get the windshield so I can see better as he's pulling away. He was a charity case. He's making me feel good. I appreciate him for that. Uh, I won something. One, two, three, go. Oh, he's gone. I couldn't shift into second gear, so that was a bad race because I got you guys. And I got the steering wheel. Okay, I think we all know he gave me that first race. Charity, he's a good friend. He's super nice. 
But then in the second race, he let me know, obviously, that, uh, yeah, way faster. Do you have anything to say for yourself on the first race? Well, see, it was, uh, it was an issue. It was all driver failure. The Porsche performed perfectly. The other issue is I asked prior to agreeing to this race, the Burlacker was going to provide four Germans and also some tire warmers, and that was not provided. That was so well thought and profound. I don't know what to say, but we're gonna go find a new race spot. And I think you guys know, if you guys follow my channel and know, any sort of racing we do is not really ever gonna be like that legit, nothing heavy street racing, none of that crazy like wild stuff. We're just out having fun and uh, kind of just pushing the cars a little bit. We're just gonna do one more pull right here though, just for you guys. Now obviously I let him have the jump on that. I was gonna go on his go because you know I felt bad because I beat him so bad in the first race. But uh, it looks like he got serious on that one and he he took off. Okay, estamos in Mexico agora. Uh, sorry, we're in Mexico now, new location, and something crazy has just happened. Ryan has offered to let me drive, assuming I can fit. Here we go, can 66 fit and drive safely a Porsche GT3 RS. Let's go. I also want to mention Ryan is a very skilled and professional driver. He races at the racetrack, local racetrack, all the time. So this is a big, big deal. This car has been out on the track and been through its paces a lot. You give me way too much credit. I don't know if you could call me professional at all at anything. I think you're going to fit. Well, I, I, I'm kind of... This is a this is a throwback. I don't know. Take 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 everyone if you could. Yeah, let me see if I can. It I mean, seats as far back as it goes. But this is look at this. This thing is wow. This is. I'm really happy we're doing can six six fit in the car again. These are legitimate things I always wondered about as a big person looking at the cars, and I know I've got some followers, at least one, that's also big that also wonders can he fit in the GT3 RS, and I will tell you. The seats are cushed, but I'm locked in. Leg room is look great. bountiful. It's doable. This is just so nice. There's too many buttons and stuff. I don't know what to do. I take that back. I know what to do. First thing you should always do, put on uh, the seat belt. Okay, it took Ryan 20 minutes to explain to me, because I'm not that smart, how to drive this car. But effectively, we go into drive, we go over into manual, and now we got the paddle shifters. So this guy, I don't have to do anything with that guy. No. He just hangs out. No. It's all these guys. Don't hit the Mustang. In the history of life, a Porsche has never hit a Mustang. <laughs> wow. It's always the other way around. On that note, launch control coming in three, two, whoa, whoa. Okay, whoa, sorry, I, I shake it down. You gotta stay in it. We had a driver's meeting and the instruction was, Yeah. he's gotta stay in it because this yeah. car is smarter. You're a smart guy, <laughs> Yeah. I'm not as smart as you. But the car is smarter than both of us combined. It knows exactly what to do, Burlacher. Okay, launch control, all you have to do to engage it is mash the brake with your left foot and mash the gas with the right. There's no buttons, there's no presets, or anything like that. And then you just let off the brake and launch control takes care of it. So take two. Here we go. Trust, I trust, I trust. I can get out, not gracefully, but uh, I can do it in one piece. Now, I wasn't planning on this, but it just hit me as we were doing that launch control. I think we need to see the Porsche driver do launch control in the Shelby GT350. Ooh, you down? I don't know. Okay, again, I already said this. Ryan is a professional race car driver. No, that, that's, see, that's where he's getting it wrong. That's <laughs> exactly false. Also, this Mustang has never been put into a wall. Here we go. Launch control is much more complicated in this car. You actually have to do some switches, uh, do some settings, use your left foot, the, the whole paddle. deal. No paddle shifter, oh. so, you I ready? Feel, I feel like I'm getting set up to look like an absolute idiot here. For oh, well, you're on my channel, that's <laughs> what, well, that's, that's <laughs> really? You're well, my friend. Legitimately, we are on a closed, like, mm -hmm. closed road, so. You're telling me to dump the clutch. Dump the dump clutch. It. I don't think that that's, was like the right thing to do. That's what the instruction book said. I read the instruction book. It says to dump okay, the clutch. Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, it's feeling out. Yeah. Look at that. Okay. Pretty good. Yeah, not bad. I've 
always wanted to that get was, swirly in a Mustang, bro, Lacker. That was a lot of fun. That was not bad. Oh, there we go. That's better. Yes. Yes. Oh. oh. Okay. Okay, Ryan did not kill the clutch. We are good. That's a great thing. But for now, we're going to line them up one more time, do one more hard pull. Then he's got a family event to go to. I got a family event to go to, so we're going to bounce out. That's proper cool. I messed that one up, but he had a good take. That was sick. Just such a sweet ride. Well, guess what? Guess what, bud? We drove the Shelby. We kind of raced a Porsche and we didn't run into a wall. That I count as a very successful day, huh, buddy? Yeah. I guess he's unimpressed. Regardless, that was a fun day. I appreciate Ryan taking the time to hang out today. It was a blast to be able to drive his GT3 RS. That is like an epic car totally different experience for sure but that's going to be it for us today i appreciate you guys for sticking around i hope you guys are crushing life best of luck to you peace